There's a new vaccine and it is 94.5% effective. It's been made by Moderna, but there's still more about it. So they're saying out of 15,000 participants who got a placebo, which is essentially nothing, not a vaccine per se, 90 of them got sick. But other 15,000, only five of them got sick. This is how they're describing this moment. That is the uh, Moderna founder, Noba Afian. He says the results have exceeded the expectations. So we begin tonight with another glimmer of hope in the fight against COVID-19. A second trial vaccine in the United States has registered a 95% effectiveness in preventing COVID-19. The vaccine developed by a company known as Moderna was found to protect 95% of those who took it from contracting the virus. Researchers say that even the 5% who got the virus after taking the vaccine did not develop any serious illness. The Kenyan government has expressed cautious optimism about the development, saying it will take time before such vaccines can be accessible to the country. Wega Moura begins our coverage with the story of the second such breakthrough in just one week. Exactly one week after U.S. pharmaceutical giant Pfizer Incorporated released interim data suggesting a 90% effectiveness of its own trial vaccine, the United States and the globe has another glimmer of hope. The drugs company Moderna saying its own trial vaccine has recorded an even better result. The potential vaccine registering effectiveness of 94.5% in preventing symptomatic COVID-19. A total of 30,000 people in the United States were involved in the trial, with 50% of them being given two doses of the vaccine four weeks apart, whilst the rest had dummy injections known as a placebo. The analysis was based on the first 95 to develop COVID-19 symptoms, the end result was that only five of the COVID-19 cases were in people given the vaccine, 90 were in those given the dummy treatment. But even the five who contracted the virus after getting the vaccine did not have any serious symptoms. However, 11 of the participants who are on placebo developed severe COVID-19 symptoms. No significant safety concerns were reported, but some reactions after the second dose included fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. We're encouraged by the data. In scientific or clinical research, optimism is something that you actively keep in check because you have to do the rigorous experiments. But certainly I can say that we're encouraged by this interim readout. The two vaccines being worked on by Pfizer and Moderna are similar in that they use the same scientific approach which involves injecting part of the genetic material of the coronavirus in order to provoke an immune response. But Moderna's seems easier to store as it remains stable at minus 20 degrees Celsius for up to six months and can be kept in a standard fridge for up to one month, unlike Pfizer's vaccine, which needs ultra-cold storage at around minus 75 degrees. In many ways, we think that this is an important part of the usefulness and ease of use of the vaccine, which if we're talking about hundreds of millions of, of doses, will become a very important consideration. Moderna intends to submit the vaccine to the U.S. regulator, the Food and Drugs Administration, for emergency use authorization in the coming weeks. And should all go well, 20 million doses will be available in the United States by the end of the year. Whilst for the rest of the world, 1 billion doses could be available next year. But amidst the global optimism, the Ministry of Health here in Kenya is urging caution, asking Kenyans to manage their expectations. The government concerned, among other issues, by the logistical challenges of storage and transportation. Therefore, even if these vaccines become available, we will need to revamp our entire cogent system to be able to accommodate them. And of course, you also need to remember that the demand, if the vaccines become available, will be so high and therefore, countries, especially the developing countries, will be the, at the tail end of receiving the vaccines. Kenya and South Africa are currently engaged in COVID-19 vaccine trials, but so far, no sub-Saharan African country has engaged drug manufacturers directly to reserve doses of the potential vaccines currently in development. The only hope, it seems, is in global initiatives like the COVID-19 Vaccine Global Access Initiative, also known as COVAX, which is co-led by the World Health Organization. In the meantime, the government insists that hand-washing, wearing a face mask and social distancing remain the sure and ready weapons 
against COVID-19, at least in the meantime. Wahiga Mwaura, Citizen TV.